Hello and welcome into my attic. So did you know that the screw lids of the unstoppable fabric softener are great for making little pumpkins? Well, all you need to do is unscrew them from the bottle, um, cut off the lids, place them together, take some masking tape, wrap it all the way around and then wrap it all the way across. Now leave one hole completely open and the other hole, um, close it up with the masking tape but leave a little hole big enough for the stem or the peduncle I think it's called uh, to go through. I used a twig and so you know that's the size of the hole you need to leave or whatever you want to put in it really um, and then you're ready for your fabric to be threaded through or your jumper sleeve like what I'm using here um, just thread it through the two holes and then stuff in your twig and that's it no glue nothing just a five minute not even five minutes pumpkin already to use So I'm going to make a second one in the same way and then I'm going to make a third one uh, but I'm going to do something completely different. I want to do a stone pumpkin on a pedestal. So for the third pumpkin, as you can see, I've already prepared it with the masking tape and I've just rolled out some old gummy clay, which is really old and stiff. Um, but for this project, it's okay. You don't really need to worry about the clay. You can cover it with anything because it's all going to get covered up with our paint mixture. Um, so I'm just going to coat the pumpkin, the plastic pumpkin, um, all over with PVA glue, spreading it around with the brush and then I'm just going to splodge it inside of my gummy clay and then squidge it all together um, until I come up to the hole of the peduncle. With a popsicle stick, you can mark out some segments. Let your pumpkin dry out completely. Now to make our pedestal, we're going to need some pickle jar lids and a cardboard tube from cling film or aluminium foil. And we're going to hot glue them together. I put three on the base and two on the top of the tube. Um, here are the measurements that I used. But obviously, you know, you can do whatever you want. Yay! 
yeah this isn't a cardboard tube this is a non aerosol spray container uh, please don't judge me because the day I made this video I could not find any empty tube of cardboard but I wanted to get the video started so I just grabbed this non aerosol uh, spray can I think it was hairspray but I thought non -aer aerosol was safe but apparently non aerosol isn't safe you can never really uh, heat these up put them by the sunlight or near a fireplace or anything like that and even when I was doing this uh, DIY I couldn't dry off my tube or anything really with the hairdryer because you can't get them heated up because they'll explode <laughs> so please do not do what I did do not use an um, a spray can use only a cardboard tube So that is our pedestal completely built um, and to make it even more secure I'm going to Mod Pod napkin all over it to keep it more sturdy um, also because I like the wrinkles and for this project I think wrinkles is a good idea it makes it look better so I'm just going to tear up some napkin and Mod Podge it all over the pedestal I also want to Mod Pod napkin all over it because you know anything you're going to put on it is going to stick on much better and paint is going to stick on better and anything you put on it decoration whatever is going to stick much better onto napkin than onto the actual lids themselves Okay, so it's the next day and the pedestal has dried and I'm just going to file away the excess paper underneath the pedestal. Okay, so to paint my pedestal I used grey acrylic paint. I used one part paint to one part glue, PVA glue, um, about two to three parts bicarbonate soda, which is what makes it nice and gritty. And I also added some water, and I really, I did it by eye. Those are roughly the ingredients, um, but you make sure that it's creamy and gritty at the same time, and that is the right consistency. So I brushed and dabbed the paint on a couple of times, did a couple of coats drying in between and when it all dried at the end it was nice and tough and sturdy which trying to imitate stone, you know, that's exactly what you're looking for. So now I'm going to take my pumpkin. I'm going to put some glue, PVA glue, on the end of the peduncle and I'm going to press it down into the pumpkin and that's that. Um, then I'm going to proceed to brush PVA glue all over the pedestal and all over the pumpkin and let it completely dry. I'm going to do that because I find that when you brush on um, a layer of glue and let it dry, any decoration that you add on afterwards will stick much more easily rather than if you did not have any glue on at all. So that is how I'm going to proceed now. So now my PVA glue is about 90% dry. I'm just going to proceed to uh, glue on my pearls, my string of pearls. Um, they're just plastic. Um, they aren't adhesive, self-adhesive pearls, so 
Uh, if they were, it would be just so much easier, just put them on and that would be it. But I'm going to have to put the PVA glue on the backs of the pearls to stick them onto the pedestal. And I'll do that on all of my um, pickle jar lids. Now this uh, gold ribbon of leaves is really perfect and beautiful for this kind of project to wrap around a stone column. But this particular uh, ribbon that I've got here is really awkward and just doesn't want to stay flat. And it's also made of plastic. If it was paper or fabric, it would stick on much better but it's kind of plasticky and fabricy. It's really strange um, and it's really hard to stick on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my PVA glue onto the uh, column and onto the back of the ribbon and stick it down. And then I'm going to have to press it down as well, um, helping myself with some oven paper you know so I don't get all sticky hands and you know I'm just gonna have to keep pressing it down until it finally sticks and until it dries These are clay roses that I have in my stash and I'm just going to stick them on willy-nilly onto the column. Now I'm going to decorate the pumpkin in the same way using the same uh, leafy ribbon and the same plastic pearls. I've added the roses as well to the pumpkin and now I'm just going to leave it to uh, dry off completely. So now my pedestal is looking more like a relic from India rather than a stone pedestal. I'm going to uh, paint the whole thing again, covering up all the decoration um, I'm using the same uh, paint as before. I've made up some more. Um, I think this came out a bit lighter though, but you know, it doesn't really matter, just a grey 
um, stone colour will do. I've decided not to uh, paint my peduncle, I'm going to leave it natural as it is. I don't want to suffocate the decoration with the grittiness of my paint so when it comes to like the roses that has more of a delicate decoration I'm going to with a toothpick you know trying to um, pick out all the detail so it isn't all packed up with like sand and grit. So now that it's all dry, I'm going to cover the whole thing with a black wash made with acrylic paint and water, um, just to give it a less of a flat look, you know, being all grey, it's just a bit too flat. <music> So now that's all dry, I'm going to do a quick white dry brush with dense white paint. I'm using like acrylic. Um, I'm going to put very little on my brush and I'm going to brush all over to bring out all the details and the decoration of my pedestal.
The gold leaf ribbon was very hard to stick down, but I think it was worth it because I think it looks really gorgeous now on this column here. So obviously everything here is optional, um, you know, you can do whatever you want, decorate in any way that you want. However, um, at this stage when all the white uh, dry brushing was dry, uh, I wanted to add some dark shadows and I chose um, a black powdery eyeshadow to do this, just really lightly dusting on. I did want to originally just do some... Uh, points in the crevices you know but I got a little bit carried away and I just went all over the whole thing you know but as I said it's optional you can do whatever you prefer so I've put the eyeshadow on the top and I've still got to do the bottom I can't decide which I prefer I like them both really um, I don't know. What do you think? Here I'm just rubbing it down with a paper towel just to get the excess of the eyeshadow off. I'm going to start to actually decorate further this um, pumpkin. And with some florist wire, I'm just going to wrap it around a pen and I'm going to hot glue it onto my peduncle. Now I'm adding a couple of faux leaves. So a while back I was doing the project and I had some white clay left over, just a little bit and I, I thought I don't want to throw it away but I don't know what to do with it. So I just made a pumpkin, I always make pumpkins when I've got clay left over. So yeah I'm going to stick that onto my pumpkin. Um, and also my peduncle in this little white pumpkin is actually from a peach. So now it's time to add some moss to our stone a pedestal um, because all stone statues seem to have moss on them so I'm going to add some moss and the way I like to do that rather than painting it on I'd rather um, take some wool that is the colour of moss and I wrap about 30 centimetres around my fingers uh, cut the ends and then with sharp scissors just snip off all the little ends as much as possible until I've cut it all. Uh, do it in a dish because it can get a bit dusty and messy. So here I'm adding some moss where I think moss would form. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of PVA glue and just uh, dab down all the moss onto the glue.
So as you can see, I'm left with a very hairy pedestal now, but that's okay because tomorrow when everything's bone dry, I'm going to take a rigid bristled brush and I'm going to rub all over it and whatever stays on stays on and whatever comes off comes off. Here I'm using eyeshadow again just to tone down the bright green of the moss. And last but not least, just three little buttons for the last of the decoration. Thank you so much for watching and now for the reveal.